When you meet people for the first time, you notice things about them. That's normal. But in today's video, I'm going to need the women to get their notepads out and I'm going to need the men to be ready to comment because we are going to break down those seven, well, actually eight because I have a bonus for you guys, things that a man notices about a woman and that he finds attractive. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. And today we are talking about the things that a man notices about a woman and that he finds very attractive. So if you're a woman watching this, <laughs> get ready. But if you are a man and I missed something or you want to add something, please make sure to put it in the comments so we can continue the dialogue and learn all together. The first thing that a man will notice about a woman and find very attractive is her body shape or her body type or her body yaddy 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 yay yay body crazy th anywho the first thing is her body and i had to start there because i didn't want to start anywhere else and be untruthful now these are not in order but i noticed one of the first things that a man will notice is about her body does she have big breasts does she have a coke bottle shape does she have hips does she have a butt is her arm does she work out does she have a little stomach a little football whatever they notice these things about a woman and the beautiful part about this is that every man likes something different so you can't feel away women when a man doesn't like your body type or he likes women with bigger breasts than you you know the little itty bitty titty committee like me you know you can't feel a type of way when a guy likes things and have preferences because there's always going to be another man who's going to come along and love the things that the other man hated so be confident in you whether you are a big woman whether you're overweight whether you have a coke bottle shape whether you have a square a triangle all of the different shapes out there <laughs> Please know that there's somebody that's going to like you and your body type as is. Now, I'm not out here promoting anything unhealthy, so if you need to work out and eat cleaner, go ahead and do that, sis. But what I am saying is that don't go out changing yourself completely for a man when you know that that isn't something that you want to do internally for yourself. If you're okay with you, he should be okay with you. The second thing that a man will notice about a woman first is her smile. And I'm going to lump in her voice and laughter under this category as well. Warm, friendly smile goes a long way. Some of us, especially if you are a woman of color, black woman, we got that resting bee face, right? Y'all know which one I'm talking about where you just going out into the world looking like, don't nobody talk to me, don't look at me, don't say nothing to me <laughs> type of energy. And you don't have that welcoming, inviting face and also energy. That is one of the things that a man notices. How many times have we been out and a man say, smile beautiful, why are you looking so mad beautiful? Like that is annoying, one. But it also is an indicator that our facial expression is not always as friendly and as inviting as we think that it is. So that smile, that tone of voice, that laughter, it signals approachability, it signals friendliness, and it also signals confidence. That is a universal thing. Anywhere you go on the face of this earth and you give somebody a beautiful smile, <laughs> it's welcoming. You know, like, I don't know any other culture that will be like, smiling is bad. Like, I don't, I don't know. If there's one, please let me know. But that is a universal thing that we all need to embrace. So smile a little bit more. Show them pearly whites. And it doesn't even necessarily mean that you have to have perfect teeth. Somebody tried to drag me on YouTube, one of my YouTube shorts, because I have a little gap here, right? And they were like, ew, you got a gap teeth. And I'm like, I'm fine with my teeth. All of my other teeth are straight. If you have a problem with my gap, Keep it pushing. You don't have to look. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to be over here. And then on the flip side, I've had men tell me like, oh, I really, really enjoy your smile and your teeth, even with my gap. So needless to say, everybody has preferences and what your thing is may not be the thing for the other person and vice versa or whatever I'm trying to say. The third thing that a man will notice first about a woman is her eyes. People say that the eyes are the window to the soul. And I kind of believe that a little bit. Like sometimes when you look into somebody's eyes, you can see more than what you think you can see. I have looked into people's eyes and they look very dark. And I'm not talking about like the white part or the dark parts of your eyes, your pupils. I'm talking about you look into their eyes and you're like, something is off with this person. 
something ain't right. They spirit ain't right. Like stay far away. But then I've looked at other people's eyes and they're welcoming and they're inviting and they seem very kind and sweet. And so the eyes tell a lot about you. And it isn't based on shape, right? It isn't like, oh, those are almond shaped eyes or these, this person has a larger eyelid or these, per that isn't what we're saying here. We're saying that a man can be drawn to you by your eyes and that's important. The fourth thing that a man will notice about a woman and find very attractive is her confidence. Confidence is magnetic. It does not matter what you say. I firmly believe that how you carry yourself matters. It can be your posture. It can be how you carry yourself. It can be how you talk to other people. Confidence can be expressed in a multitude of ways. Because how many times have we seen a man or a woman just walk in and they're kind of just like, doo, 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 you know, and they're not really gay, giving eye contact or they're hunched over or they're walking slowly. They don't exude that confidence. They don't walk into a room and people turn around and look like they can kind of like skate through <laughs> the crowd and go unnoticed. And I'm not saying that if you're introverted or if you're a little bit more shy that you know men won't notice you but confidence is very attractive and we're not talking about cockiness or arrogance we're talking about just straight confidence like I carry myself in a certain type of way I speak a certain type of way when I walk into a room my presence is noticed by somebody at this point the fifth thing that a man will notice about a woman and find very attractive is her style women honey a man pays attention to what you got on okay Probably because of number one, the body type, right? There's certain things that we can wear that's a little bit more form fitting, showing your shape, showing your body, yaddy, yaddy. And he's like, oh, okay, she got what I like. And then there's other clothes that might be a little bigger or it isn't technically like a shapely outfit. And not to say that men don't like that, but it does show that there's preferences out there. Style is important, whether you are a tomboy-ish type of person and you wear your clothes a little bit baggier and you don't like things that are tight and form-fitting all of the time you can still accessorize that thing down like I have a friend who doesn't like tight stuff <laughs> and she has like be kind of like an Aaliyah style like the baggier pants a little bit not necessarily like a little crop top that Aaliyah used to wear but she does not wear super duper tight stuff. But the way she accessorizes, honey, the jewelry be jewelry and the shoes be shoeing, the bag be bagging, okay? And she gets a lot of attention, whether someone like me who might wear something a little bit more form fitting, but I have a very slender figure. You might be, you might not be able to tell, but your girl is very slender. So how you put that thing together matters. And it isn't having the most expensive things or the flashiest things. It's just about what accessories are you wearing? What shirt are you wearing? What dress are you wearing? What shoes? What bag? What are you pairing? And how are you mixing this thing together that can cause a man to notice you a little bit more? The sixth thing that a man will notice about a woman and find very attractive, and we don't talk about this enough, is her scent. Yes, I'm talking about the way you smell. I was on threads, y'all, the other day, and a man, I think it was a man, they didn't have a profile picture, it was one of those, <laughs> but he said, oh, I only take a shower every three days. I said, what? <laughs> Hold on, sir. And then there were other people under that comment saying, me too, yeah, me too, I just be at home, I don't get dirty, so I don't shower. I was like, this is odd. Needless to say, your scent matters. When you go out into the world, you want to smell good. And I don't mean you have to have on the most expensive perfume or even wear perfume, but showering, <laughs> soap and water smells good then compared to musk and certain other type of body odors. So making sure that you have on your, and I mean, I shouldn't have to say this to adults, right? But making sure you have on your deodorant, if you wear a body spray, if you do want to wear perfume, scented lotion, perfume oils, there are different ways that you can smell good based on your preferences. Sometimes it's just your body wash that smells good and you don't have to do all of the extra, but we know a thing or two about layering. If you're a woman into scents, you know scents that layer last, they seep into the skin, it lasts you all day. When you walk past him and he get a whiff of you, honey, he's like, oh, hold on. <laughs> Ooh, she smell bomb. This also goes for multiple things, not just body scent, but your hair, nails, all of scents matter. The seventh thing that a man will notice about a woman and find very attractive is her authenticity. 
be yourself out here. I've said this in other videos, but that's very attractive to a man as well. Be who you are. Don't try to morph and change into somebody that you are trying to be just for him. You can't even sustain that long term. So then you're going to go back to being your old self and then he's going to find out and then he's not going to want to be with you. Then you're going to be back at square one. We're not trying to do none of that over here. Be yourself. There will be somebody who likes you for you. It doesn't always mean it's going to be an immediate thing, but putting yourself out there, being your authentic self, being who God created you to be is the best plug ever. And the eighth thing or the bonus that a man will notice about a woman first and finds very attractive is her sense of humor. I can't tell you how many times I have to tell women, can you please not be so boring? <laughs> can you please not be so dull? Have some type of energy, playfulness, banter, fun about you. Nobody wants to be in a boring, monotonous, stuck up relationship. A man loves a woman who can crack a good joke or who can take a good joke and who isn't going to be so serious or internalize it. And then the next day you're like, well, well, you said that to me yesterday and that kind of hurt my feeling. Listen, it's all done in fun and games. We're not taking jabs or it's just like, whoa, that was way below the belt. We're not doing that, but finding a happy medium where you can be playful, fun, have a little jokey joke and still have a great time is key. So my final thoughts on this is everything that I mentioned in this video. Yes, it's things that men notice when they first meet you. Yes, it's things that he can find very attractive. And as I already mentioned, I can't wait to read what the men have to say, or even women, if you want to add some extra ones on here, feel free to do so. But these things are going to one, help you get noticed more, but also two is going to build that connection that we all want with the man if we are designed to be partnered in a relationship or even get married long term. These things matter. So you need to pick and choose which ones matter to you the most. Implement those things, incorporate those things, and then use them in your everyday life. Okay, don't be at home like, oh, I did one through eight, like he I just said, but I didn't walk out the house and nobody saw me. Then this does not matter. You want to make sure that you are implementing those things in public. I don't care if it's just you going to the grocery store or you going to get some gas, okay? Implement some of the things that we talked about today so you can get noticed by the one you want to get noticed by. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Be blessed. Bye.